Uh, okay, so I literally just leave and we'll find them. Um, oh, I've got to go back up top. Me remembering it apparently is not sufficient. All right, I'll go back up. Isn't there a thing over here that I can just tee onto? Maybe not. Ah, I think it's that one I'm thinking of. Oh, there is one. I knew it. Yeah. I already remembered it. Although, which symbol is it? Oh, Hydro, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally paid attention to that. <laughs> I found the first one. Well, considering we'd already found it. Yeah, it wasn't so, oh, bad angle. Excuse me, I'm terribly sorry about this. It's so funny because they're linked to each other. So it is like they're holding hands. It's so cute. This one is Dendro. It's convenient that they're all so close together. Feels like cheating almost. I saw that hill child running back there. And we have Electro <laughs> Zankara. Excuse me. Just copying this down, don't mind me. This is Cryo. Yeah! Yada you too. Time to look for the curry drums. So these are hopefully the ones that we're missing and we don't have to look for ones we already have. Look for curry drums. Um, there's a crack in the earth here, right? Awesome. Ah, not big enough of a crack. Oh, hello. Look at you first and then I'll go down. Puzzle. Uh. Yes! I forgot catalysts are a thing. Look, I was close enough, right? I see how this goes. We're gonna need one more to be unveiled by this guy, I think. Called it. Well, let's just get this first. Let's go, Nahida. Yay! And I didn't have to put you on my party, you were already in it. I wonder who this gift could be from. Uh, anyway, we were going down. I got terribly distracted. Just the usual. Oh, hello. Um, pardon me. This wasn't part of the plan, I yeah, swear. Yeah. I don't know that was really needed for you, but I'll do it Speed nonetheless. Nowhere to hide. Incoming. Thank you. On to the next. Uh, off the dumb chest. Good to have you back in the party, Beto. Um, Beto, I never optimized you, did I? Holy shit, no, I did not. Man, we have got to work on you one day. Absolutely. You are, you're like always in my party, but you're like perpetually subpar. I'm terribly sorry about that. I mean, I'm going to work on the heater first and then, you know, we'll see what happens after that. But we have seriously got to put some effort into you, my dear. I don't like grinding, but like you're also a permanent, mostly, member of the party and it just, you really shouldn't be subpar. Oh, hey, at least it guides you. That's adorable. 
It doesn't just make me guess where I'm supposed to go. This is a pretty little cavern. Oh my, what is that? I mean, I know it's a bell, but why is it, why is it an electro energy? I don't want to touch it. You touch it. Why is there a storm here? I don't know, but it's going to suck to touch. With me to shield you, simple thunder is nothing to be afraid of. I'll take your word for it. Oh, hello. Tweet the opponents, okay. Too bad I'm thunder damage based. This is not gonna work out so well. Mind to uh, change what I've got going on here. I think I'm only doing physical and dendro damage. At least by quickening it, I am also damaging it. Don't blink. Yeah. Oh my god, there's more. With sword comes shadow. Hold on. We we're supposed to do this grow, first. Grow, grow. Share my knowledge. Then we can do this. Incoming. Otherwise, we're not damaging them. Barbados. Because that might also help. Oh shit, hello. Um, you were not really invited to this party for the same reasons as the other guys. You are Electro and I can't really do much damage to you, per se. I mean, I can do my best. I just make no guarantees that it's gonna be effective. Yes. Dendro action is what we're needing here. Alright. Go get oops drums this way. Right. Where is the other one requiring us to go to? There. Up or down. Pick a direction. But I never saw it when I was here. Maybe I just didn't go in the right direction. Actually, yeah, I don't think I went this way. I went under and then I went over. I didn't ever go through. Gentlemen. I see everything. Your coming was foretold. Apologies, there's a woman in the midst. Don't blink. Cut to the chase. Moved right at the wrong time. And she's not dendroed. Does teleporting undendro her? Out of curiosity. You give, you receive. More or less. Hmm. Enough with the foodstuffs. I see that it's right there and I acknowledge. Bright flames altars. We're willing to light them. Okay, cool. Well, that's what I was going to do anyway. That's great. Can you let me move? Go, 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 go. What am I doing? Well, where are the altars? <laughs> uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Would help if I had some directions. Three. Uh, uh, I don't know. Is this the way I want to go? Yeah. Uh, oh, yep, there's one over there. Four.
That's nice. Would have been nice if you'd give me directions. Hick Pulso. Okay, well we have all of these things. Great, go to the giant tree. The pink one? The pink one. Ooh, probably would have been closer to go to the domain. How about we here now? Not that I really think that's particularly further ahead. I'll take it. Uh, do we put them in the green spots? Let's see. Next we just need to put the Cory drums back in their original places before performing the piece according to the scores on the stone walls, right? Rushnu will definitely be happy to answer us when she hears her favourite music. Do excuse my presumption, but the ritual that bound the Order of Skeptics to the party is one of great significance. I think it would only be proper Order of Skeptics regulation if it's Vijnanapati, I would say myself, but to preside over bra. You piss me off, left, right, and centre. You are incompetent. Your ancestors are incompetent. You contribute nothing to my life. I'll be the one doing it. Eh? But we were the ones who got all five curry drums. Even if you are Lady Sorosha's yes in the party, I believe this to be out of line. Or should I call this prideful presumption upon her favour? Lady Sorosha's Kavarana's envoy. She might have behaved more amicably to the two of you on account of your aid in fulfilling her destined mission. Yet this is but a manifestation of her virtue, not any credit of yours. Do not forget your place. Give praise and stand in awe of her every action as you should. Uh, that's what you say. But even though Suresh would always act all high and mighty, Pam doesn't think she's all that great. Or that distant from us. That does not sound like something that should be written into a hymn of praise. Well, I'd say it's praise enough by Pamela's standards. Well, what about you then, Lenara? Do you desire... Do you want to play the Cory drums and awaken the familiar vast song for me? Eh, Nasjuna can do it. Being a bison is alright sometimes. I'm not a bad performer. Exactly. Cooking, combat, errands, espionage. We can do it all. When did the espionage get in there? This is definitely way easier than extinguishing the sign of a Pausha. We're not going to trip up here. And yet adventurers you remain. Rough folk on the out of the outdoors. It would be best if I handle such critical matters related to our history and tradition as this. Nazariah. She is the Yasna party I have chosen, and now she willingly serves. Will you bar our path? I, I have no reason to doubt your decisions as suit as they are. Then it is concluded. Speak no more. Come, Lunara. This momentous task is yours. Don't you worry. Oh, I have no fear. You are my Yasna party after all. Well, if you say so, Sarush, then leave us to us. Just relax, Nazajuna. We know the Kori drums are very important. The Nero is not going to ruin them or anything. Watch me. How do we know which one this is? Which one's Rupa? Oh, this is Dendro. Oh, we're just placing them for now. We're not playing them? Oh, check drum score. Uh, light, 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 heavy. Okay. Light. 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 Light heavy, light heavy. Let's go. Light. Heavy. Light. What do you mean? It's exactly what it says. Light, heavy. Oh, is that meant to be pause? It looked light to me. Maybe you should have made your pictures clearer. pictures. <laughs> light, 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 heavy. Why is it so slow? I just don't understand. Who thought was it a fun idea to make them so slow? Like, seriously. Do you think people are that incompetent that they need it to be that slow? 
Jesus, in which case, put a difficulty meter on it. Um, light, pause, light, heavy. I'm assuming it's a pause. Yeah. Last but not least, the final element of Karayo. Light, pause, light. That's exactly the same as what I just did. Couldn't they be original? <laughs> Watch and burn, boy. They really like that opening eye animation, don't they? Oh, my. I don't think your colours really go together. Ah, Basim's familiar has answered our call. She must be Rashnu. Don't you think she seems kind of tired, though? Looks like we might need to help her out somehow. This is Rashnu indeed, but perhaps we could have a nice meal. Of what, fungi? That's right, grub. Meat, veggies, sweet, salty. Ooh, what should we get? Actually, hang on. Do Pari do human food as well? Perhaps a repeat performance might do. So noisy, so sleepy. Paimon kind of thought this might go differently. You know, like a moving reunion after many years. Not gonna happen. You are Sarush. I recognize you. That's right. This is my cousin party, Lunara, and her companion Paimon. And this is the Nasuraya of the Order of Skeptics. The Skeptics. Yes, the party. I do not wish to know about these human affairs. Humans and their drums are so noisy. I threw them into different places so I could sleep in peace. You're the reason they got separated. Oh, the scent of lies. Wait, so this was all a misunderstanding? Well, that's one huge misunderstanding, wouldn't you say? Even Paimon doesn't do that. How? But our documents recorded this so very clearly. Nor did Lady Sarush say anything against this. You must have slumbered too long here, Rashnu, muddling your memory of these affairs. Surely the scattering of the Koribantis was meant to select those who might clear the trials. With those who could not solve such a small problem proving unfit to call themselves Yasnapati, for how then would they aid me in my great work of extinguishing the sign of Apalsha? A sign. <sighs> I'm so tired, but this is not the time to sleep. Yes, you see, Lunara truly deserves the title of Yasnapati. She has helped me immensely, but her help alone is not enough. Vashnu, I need yours as well. Ah, uh, I get it. It was Zervan who... She too approves of me, of course. All right, Yash Rashnu, will you come with me to the Vorukasha Oasis? Well, it is not impossible. Basim's familiar. Please wait. I have many queries regarding the skeptic's traditions. Human business. Later, perhaps. We can talk later. Perhaps after I sleep for a bit. Maybe then. Uh. Nasariah, do you not have other things to attend to? We can save your business with Rashi for another day. Yes, I will return to camp to accomplish... That which I should, which is to say, here's nothing to fucking do. You know, Paimon feels kind of bad for Nasu Jin right now. I absolutely do not feel bad for the guy. I'm afraid this isn't something we can butt into. Yeah, Nasu Jin and Sarush have known each other for a long time. They can settle this stuff between them, can't they? Except one will be dead. Whatever the case, if you come with us to the Vodokasha Oasis, Rashnu, why are you looking at me while you're saying this? Sarush shall be one step closer to getting the chaplet. Together now? We'll meet again there later. Good. Then I shall have to think about what I should say on the way. I'll go get the other one, so you know. The tree on the hill. And some primer gems. Alright, the other one. Mehir in the swamp. Oh my, what a view. Oh yeah, this thing I can't get through. Do you know how to get through it, Sarush? Because then I can go the other one underground. Are you sure we're going the right way, Sarush? Stop making such disgraceful noises. Would I lead you wrong? <laughs> Pale floater, you could stand to learn from our yes in the party and her unflinching calm. To be honest, I'm somewhat nervous on the inside. It is just a fluorescent purple mist. But you didn't find that pretty suspicious already? Paimon can tell how dangerous it is by just looking. Yeah, but I know how to defeat it, Paimon, so I'm totally not worried. Such trivial trials. They pale in comparison to the sacrifices that I must offer up later. Ah, I misspeak. You pale floater. I'm not as bold as my Yasna party. 
perhaps one may consider retreating at the slightest sign of danger a wise choice. Right, that's right. Venera's in charge of being brave, or Pyman's in charge of being smart. Ha! I said we make the best of buddies after all. Nice going, buddy. Yeah, right? Probably thinks that was a good rejoinder too. It was not really good at all. Um, hmm. But I did not give you your title for naught, Yasnapati. Do give praise unto my bravery more, pray. Well, we never send Paimon longer. When she's not being your Yasnapati, there's nothing wrong with her spar sparing time to praise Paimon. Anyway, let's get the small stuff, Sarush. You're not really doing anything that especially needs praising right now, are you? My great work is not for the present, but the future. Still, at this very moment, you are being given the privilege to witness where it all begins. Well, if you say so. Speaking of which, we're here to find Mahir, that foolish familiar of thorns. She must be suffering right now. Wait, is she trapped in there? Then we're gonna go help save her. The power of the purple mist beneath us shares a source with the demons of Dev. Mahir's task should have been to keep these such wicked powers from running rampant upon this earth. Under the sign of a pasha, the powers of the two forces wearing here ebb and flow. We Pari should be dauntless, willing to fight till we ourselves are torn to shreds. But Mahir? Ha! <laughs> I shouldn't wonder if she searches for some way to protect herself even now, conducting some loathsome struggle. Wait, aren't you allies? Are you really going to leave a fellow Pari to her fate like that? Cold-hearted little Pari. You wouldn't be unable to rescue your comrade by any chance, would you? Hmm, maybe you're right. The problem could very well help us something not even Sarush can solve. It's no difficult matter, serving Mahir. Perhaps I might even call it trivial. But we pirate each have our own mission, and we each have different ideals. She must have found some position equal in seclusion and defensibility before using a grey gate to seal both the demons and herself in. If she could still move freely, <laughs> she would have be like the Kavarena, begging for aid and prostrating herself before all and sundry to earn pity. Can Kavarena even prostrate themselves? Maybe if I try hard enough? You plebeians missed the point. All the same, the state of his place tells me that she not, shall not hold out long by herself. How pitiful. Bah, what a horrible sight. To be as Mahir is, corroded by filth, falling from a spotless to a sinful state. Yet just desperate to preserve herself, had the elder not bade me come. So after all, you do care. Hardly. I merely wish to see if that useless fool has regrets or not. If she returns back to us and accepts our aid, then perhaps I shall spare her a moment or two. After all, the flower, the star of the songs of praise, shall seem less radiant if the green leaves are not there to serve of its foil. Oh my god, you did not just say that. The following labour shall be little, but it is still a radiant shard. Get some party mine, record it down with the reverent heart, and use even more use even use this mote of shadowed light to grace your mighty hymn. We can talk about the less important stuff later, Sarush. Let's figure out how to disperse that purple mist first. Less important, you say? Well so be it. Mahira's sinful form renders her unable to fulfil her duty, but the thorns remain. So long as I lend them some of my strength, it shall only take a brief moment to scatter this purple smoke. As for the downward path, let us follow that wandering Kavarena we just saw. Well, if Sarush is so sure, let's try getting closer then. Alright, if you feel uncomfortable, then hold your breath. Well, Palmer isn't all that good at doing that herself, so you'd better make it quick, Sarush. Underestimate me not, pal floater. Uh, so do I have to get rid of all the purple mist? Hmm. Well, I got rid of one lot. I guess I can afford to get rid of the others. I'd love to, but it's stuck up there. Why did it stop? I literally went through it, so it can't say I didn't touch it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll be the good person. Uh-huh, you do that. Appearing. Did I get them? no? All right. 
That's that one. Which means that you're free to go wherever you're going. Oh, you're going the same direction? Okay, well, um, I could just go get rid of this one as well. Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. You and your friend need to... Yes, oh god, there are so many of you. Okay, um... How do I get rid of you? Oh, is that not what I do? Oh, whoopsies. Um, how do I... How do I get this one? It seems awfully far away. Oh, it's okay. It's still being for that purpose. It's fine. Apparently fine. You think about what you're doing. I'm going to go over this way. Oh, they were moving. I see. They were moving and that... <laughs> I wasn't getting to them quickly enough. I definitely should go closer to the ground then, if that's the case. Where's the last Sealy? Is there a Sealy in there? I can't see. Excuse me, where is your... Your captor is over here somewhere. Is your captor up there? In that? Perhaps? <laughs> Not your captor, your owner. Captured in that. It's perhaps what I meant to say. Who knows? God, to get on the right angle. Yes, it is you. Brilliant. Let's go. Awaken the power of the Khavren and disperse the purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not over there yet. I'm getting my treasure first. Yay. Well, that's and all my stuff just goes the across the damn floor. Come back here, you. Is that it? Nope. Here we go. I'm coming, little buddy. Ooh. Hold on. I just gotta free this little buddy as well. This poor little friend. I need to do this for a quest anyway. Ah, finally at long last. Bring me the stamens of that flower, you bitch. Do you want three as well? Shit. I officially hate you. Just in case you weren't aware. Well, I suppose at least I can see one from my current position. And that's it. One. I can see one. Fuck if I know how to get up there, though. Ugh, it's under me somewhere. I'm just gonna look for it. Don't stray too far from me. I think I have to go down another cliff. I don't think there's any on this cliff face. <sighs> yeah, let's go down. Uh, the sun is out. Our work's done for the day. Well, at least Shall I can get to the uh, tendrils from up here. Yeah. Was not bad. There we go. It is no choice but to function. Okay. Well, that's one. <laughs> one. 
The sun is out. Great number. Our work's done for the day. Shall we take a stroll? I really do only see the one. Uh, where was the Dendroculus? Over there. I just don't know what to look for them. 